Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing spring equinox yoga and the subtitle again is somatic plus and IT band. Um, part of the somatics will target the IT band and um, uh, a few words on the spring equinox and then we'll begin. It's, it's coming. This will post right, uh, right on or around the spring equinox. And it's um, uh, the true new year, the beginning of the year and the beginning of the year in nature. It's a new cycle beginning, really. This is a true beginning. If we were using a calendar that was more in tune with nature, this would be the new year. And this is zero degrees of Aries, the beginning of all beginnings, birth, um, that explosion that of energy external that uh, starts the whole cycle again. So it's intricately um, um, connected to death and birth. Birth is connected to death and you begin from their new beginning. So new cycle begins uh, and there is this renewal within us that happens uh, when you're at, at access points uh, in the chart, which is uh, um, the two access points. Aries being the, the beginning of the chart and then you have against Aries the Libra axis point which is I, you, mm, top, the most um, visible part of the chart is another axis point and the deepest subconscious is um, the other axis point. So we have this beginning axis point activated, we're moving through the true beginning and it is um, useful to feel the search of new beginnings within yourself to allow this energy to move through you it's truly this energy is truly in alignment with nature so when we allow it to flow through us uh, we um, we are in sync with nature it is also the persian new year there is quite a bit of uh, they have a lot of symbolism uh, and um, uh, <laughs> beautiful rituals uh, surrounding um, the holiday. Uh, so you can read a, a little bit about uh, different cultures and how they celebrate the spring equinox. But with that being said, um, also I want to just remind you, uh, I don't know which class will post first, but I have Jupiter-Neptune conjunction class and uh, Jupiter-Neptune is already at around five degrees at the spring equinox um, distance, which is an operational conjunction. So we are within the um, Jupiter-Neptune um, conjunction. And even though I think I'll do anatomical classes later into this program, I might do Jupiter next because Jupiter is um, healing, prosperity, good luck, miracles. Um, in expansion, good fortune, mm, learning, knowledge, uh, etc. So I feel that because we're going to feel so much of that energy right now and that energy of expansion and, and uh, good luck will bless Neptune in Pisces, which is uh, true spirituality, especially if we take it in the positive. Um, so I think we're going to have a little bit of um, spiritual classes within the somatics, vinyasa classes, we'll, but we'll have also some anatomic classes, anatomical classes. Today we're going to do a little bit for the IT band, so there is a little bit of an anatomic twist to the class. So remember to flow with love, strength and ease. Right, starting at the front, I want us to start with the vinyasa today because the somatics tend to be very relaxing and I don't want us to fall asleep before the class. Maybe we will <laughs> fall asleep after. <laughs> so begin to deepen the breath, get that somatic um, feedback or experience even within the vinyasa portion of the class. You are going to feel your connection with the mat, with the floor. And we can do a few neck rolls. Just explorative, you don't have to do a very, very big neck roll. 
just move and feel. Reverse. Great. Here we're going to use some um, a step, a firmer block, or uh, something to step on um, <clears throat> to uh, work on the hips. IT bent a little bit, even TFL. So you're going to step with your left leg on something that's elevated. A, a firm block works. This is a cork block, so it's not one of those foam blocks. Uh, otherwise, you'll find something. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you could find something uh, to step on. You can pause and look around. Um, but a block would be okay too. A little, uh, a little firmer of a block would be better. And we're just going to shorten the distance between the hip and the uh, shoulder. Just lift and drop. Lift and drop lift and drop lift and drop lift and shorten that distance drop and you can actually sweep your right arm up and over lift and drop and sweep up lift drop and sweep up now we're going to um, turn the turn the toes inward and we're going to um, bring the leg in front of us and bring it out out cross in front out cross in front out cross in front out cross in front out and sweep and in and sweep and out and sweep and in and swept. Feel the subtleties in the body. This is still part of the prep for the vinyasa. So here we're going to uh, bring the leg behind us and sweep and out and back and sweep and out. Sweep out, sweeping motion out sweeping motion out. Great, let's change sides. Shorten that distance, drop the hip, lift, drop, lift. We've done this before, but not too often. I don't do it. Maybe I bring it once every two years up in a class. Focus on really feeling it. It can help with um, torque, a torque in the torso, in the body, in the hips, in the legs. Imbalance. And you can stretch, release, and shorten. Stretch, shorten. Stretch, shorten, stretch, shorten. From here, we're going to sweep it in front of us and out. And just explore here where you want to move into. If you find a funky place in your body, explore it. Give it, give it your attention. This is feedback here too. It's not just moving into those areas and moving energy into those areas, along with elongation, stretching. And behind and out, behind, out, behind, out, behind. It should feel pretty invigorating and refreshing and the way moving energy feels in general. And 
back to the front you can shake it out and just um, really um, shake the hips here and now shake your quads so you want to get that jiggle in the quads sometimes I do this sometimes last night for example I was about to do the dishes and I was just standing in the kitchen just jiggling myself out you get out of a pattern you shake yourself out of a a holding pattern and especially it's good right now my pants are a little tighter than my usual you know household baggy pants but usually it's good to feel the whole jiggle Fash. all right you can let the jiggle reverberate up i'm giggling because it feels good all right bring bring the um, hands behind you all on the chest that is our cueing reminder to open up today to stay upright now another thing is when you use your phone uh, for one try to limit uh, constantly looking at things on the phone for two Half of the time when you're looking on your phone, remind yourself to just put it a little at, your, at the height of your um, face so that you're not cr scrunching over. Now that over time, if you overdo it, obviously it might throw your uh, shoulder off. So it's not a solution, but it is a, for short brief usage, it's helpful for the posture. All right, let's bend the knees gently and, and slide the hands to your left and bend the knees gently and slide the hands to the right. So then this is a fluid motion, move it with the breath. Figure it with the hands. Soften the face. Lengthen the space between the back of the teeth or the jaw if you tend to clench there. Maybe half of you do, some of you don't have that issue. And open out as if you're ready to embrace life hug whatever is the spring energy that is coming in to embrace it to welcome it plus to open up the structure and clasp above the head let's reach over to one side we're really going into the Opening up the side body and opposite side. And one more. And one more. And exhale, dive. And you can just swing here like a rag doll. Shake the head and round it up, come up. We are going to bring the right leg behind the left one. Inhale, reach and exhale, fold forward. You can feel your glutes, hamstrings, even um, inner thighs, IT band here. We affect a lot of the smaller muscles.
and like a rag doll come up gently and slowly inhale reach up and change sides you don't have to go very far in the bend forward as far as you feel is beneficial to you and just hang here I was doing some um, garden planting this morning just in tune with this spring new beginning birth etc theme that's why we also have Easter around this time of the year because um, that is the this, it's signified in nature nature is really if we set our internal uh, rhythms uh, by nature we'll really be in harmony with the cosmos because everything is running here in a particular order and sometimes our schedules and calendars and clocks may be in disharmony with it. That's why we always go back to nature to reset. To feel the energy. Come up. And reach up. Here we're going to, um, you can clasp your hands and uh, turn them up or you can press the hands forward. So you can turn them up or press them forward. If you press them forward, press the elbows away from each other. There is quite of a pulling motion here and you're going to Press the right elbow down, left elbow way up, and you will feel a massive opening. Change. Same thing, whichever one you chose, same thing on this side. You're exploring how things and how movement and how opening feels in the body. All right, let's bring it into movement now. So you can keep the arms, the hands clasping, uh, arms forward or hands, palms of the hands, sorry, forward. And we're going to take the left leg way back into a, a tight back cross, cross back lunge. And we're gonna shift the right elbow down, left up, change change so bringing movement here and fluidity chain sometimes with stretching lingering in the stretch well it's one way but sometimes just moving through flexibility in motion is it has its own beneficial We still have the planets direct, Venus and Mars conjunct. It's a lot going on, it's just charged. The air is charged. <laughs> and back to the front, a few circles here. And we're gonna do a little bit of a <laughs> stomach vacuum. So round and open and round is if you're pulling all the, stretching all the back and open, round and open and stomach vacuum. When 
Mulla Banda. So, <coughs> ideally, all three locks are activated. One more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive. Inhale, look ahead. Plank. Chaturanga. And let's go into side plank on the left hand. Chaturanga. And side plank onto the right hand. Chaturanga. Left. Chaturanga. Right. And plank. Here we're going to go into a king's cobra. So stay on to your toes and extend the tailbone. So there's protection, activate the core. So you're not just hanging here, but you're intentionally uh, rounding and elongating the back and then pull the mid back upper back up towards the ceiling rounding and one more time rounding intentionally really elongating the spine and pull up last one And down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. High lunge. Nice deep breath. And we're going to lower all the way down. You don't have to touch the floor, but Make it a deeper lunge if you can and if it doesn't bother you, make sure that your alignment is right and your front knee is back and hop it up. We're going to have a little bit of a spring hop, <laughs> a spring or a hop. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and high lunge. Here we're going to take the hands down to the floor, open the left hip slightly, and we're going to lift here, uh, booty lifts, one, left leg lifts, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and step it back. High lunge. This time we're gonna switch jump. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, seventeen, twenty. One more, twenty one, and you will, will end up on the other side. Let's Bring the hands down, open the hip, knee out, and lift here. Wherever you can feel your flexion is best, or 
muscle contraction three four focus there on that muscle seven eight twelve Twenty and straight back, step it back, high lunge. Here again. If you give it more depth, you're gonna activate the glutes more. You're gonna have this not just this cardio and mild body, but a real body exercise. I'm actually having a little bit of sore glutes because I did jump lunges like this two days ago but really deep, only for 12 minutes. I didn't do a big workout. Two. Give it a good hop. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Reaching up. And we're going to bring the hands in prayer and twist. Beautiful, come up and step a little closer for switch jumps. And let's go. One, two, four, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I feel my soreness. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Woo. One more. And hands in prayer. Twist on the right side. And hands down, plank. Step into plank. And cobra. Down dog. Lifting through the tailbone. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. High lunge. And I really don't want to do it because <laughs> I feel my soreness, but I feel you love this. <laughs> Let's go. Hop from high lunge to a knee hop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and hands down on the ground. Now you can straighten and level the hips and just uh, flex, the, flex the, bend the knee, flex the foot, and lift through the heel, activating the hamstrings and the glutes. One, two, three, you can bend the right knee. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 
1920. Bend the right knee even more, straight back, come up, step it back, high lunge. <laughs> this is the part I feel, but we're gonna do it. One, jump lunges, switch jumps. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. My count is off. I felt in the beginning I might have skipped one, so I'm going to do two more, four, so that we can end up on the left. One, two, so I bet you this is 21. <laughs> okay. Here, we're going to start in hands on the ground, like extending behind you, bend the left knee, and bend the right knee, flex the foot. Let's lift one, three, four, seven, eleven. Focus on the feeling. Twenty to come out straight back, bend the knee further. Come up, step it back. We're going to hop up, knee up. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's do the twist. And hop jumps. One. Eight, nine. 10, man, you better be doing better than me today. <sighs> 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20. Of course, we have to finish with the 21st. So that we're changing sides and finishing with a twist. Let it move through the spine, intercostal muscles, side body, hips, etc. Totally feeling it. Ah, and plank. and cobra. You can look over one shoulder and over the other. And down dog. Plank. Here we're gonna bring the right knee in, left knee. So this move is a little more meticulous, you're really feeling it. Right knee, really flexing, contracting, pulling in everything, left. Right, Mulabanda, left, right, 
left, right, left. And take a break. Child's pose for just a couple of breaths. Let's go into mountain climbers. They're not necessarily more difficult just because there's jumping involved. This other thing that we did slowly was more involved due to the focus. But for the sake of cardio, let's go. One, two, three. Here, I want you to actually step in the middle. That's a little more difficult than just bringing it in. Um, sorry for the... Pause, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 13, 14, 19, 20. And sit onto your heels. Just for a moment, observe. Observe your spine or the experience of your spine or of your nervous system. Maybe even the nervous system is depicted in some artwork. Alex Green, so like a Kundalini or like the neuro circuits that connect you with the universe, etc. However, you want to just have an experience here. The circuitry that plugs in into the cosmic energies, into the plasma, into the ether prana. Let's do one more mountain climbers. This time without touching the middle of the ground. So air mountain climbers. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, four. Thirty. Forty. 50, 60, 70, 80, keep going, 100, and take a breather. Ujjayi. So don't let your breath go into. Heavy or out of breath, just go into your Ujjayi as much as you can. Calm breath. With Mula Bandha. And you will sit down onto your booty bend uh, bend your left knee in front of you left foot touching at the top of the right knee there is this triangle formed in front of you and you can use your left hand if you feel that you're leaning a lot to your left to keep yourself upright you can use the hand too I like to use my fist. It's a little easier on the wrist. And here we're going to reach up and look over the left shoulder. Release. One more, reach up, look, release. One more. Release. Here we're going to bring the right hand onto the right knee and we're going to lift the knee and resist with the hand. Not crazy amount of resistance, uh, but some level of resistance that fires up the glutes. Three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can bring it now on the inside of the left. Lift and hold. Firing up all the Dinata deductors. One, let's do it for a few reps. Two, and really feel the muscles firing up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go into a twist. Bring your hands over to your left, elongate first, soften second, and then you can lower down if you feel like or deepen. You can move the head. It's an explorative place here and glide your left hand underneath underneath you lay on your side and anchor your toes down you're going to lift here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve you can bend the knees in front of you and glide glide the knee forward and back forward and back forward and back. As it moves forward this time, you're going to bring the right hand behind the head and all point here. Elongating. Unfolding the body. Great. And the Jupiter and Neptune conjunction class has a lot of this particular move. So if you want more of it, go to that class. And we're going to change sides. You can lift. Again, do whatever is. Comfortable for your alignment. And let's lift here with resistance. One, two, three, four, Five, you're gonna press the foot down. Six, seven, eight, you can pause. Nine, ten. On the right inner knee and thigh, one. Pause, two, feel everything firing up. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a twist. Mm. 
whatever is comfortable for you here, elongation plus twist. Lay down. It's the right side. And you can bring the point the heel up, toes down. We're gonna lift. Let's bend the knees and we'll glide the knee forward and back, forward. And on the next forward, you're going to bring your hand behind your head and open it here. And just hold here for a moment. You're gonna feel a lot of unwinding in the body. The channels will open in the body when we energetically free up the flow, the blockages. And you can come out of it and when ready, roll onto your back. draw a few circles here with the knee or so to speak not circles but we're going to extend the right leg open the foot out and bring the heel in with the knee dropping out and then extend and reverse with the knee dropping in you don't have to bring your foot all the way in if you don't want to and just feel this area of um, the hip flexors elongating opening so breathe in there you're elongating the torso as well and sometimes when there is a torque in the body we can just move into this area feel get a sense of where we are tighter breathe into these areas and if something feels in particular very tight you can also uh, foam roll it especially with the IT band because we can quite stretch it uh, it's really effective to use a foam roller I might bring one for the next class I also have a foam roller that vibrates that also works very well for releasing fascia 
Let's go over to the other side. Extend the left leg and just bring your heel in, let the knee drop. You will feel the structure. Some structures are tight, some may be achy, some are surrendering. So just keep an account <laughs> of your body, feel the body. And then extend, turn inward and bring it in. Now that action of the knee dropping, letting it drop, you feel, you feel here a stretch. And you can work your heel a little closer if, um, if your body lets go of the previous stage of this pose. From here, you can extend it and now we'll work with both legs. We are going to drop them both to the left and again feel that opening, stretching, elongation, un unwinding. We all tend to have a little bit of an evenness. I wouldn't say 100% of uh, people, but most. Most will have something with their spine, something with the pelvis. The pelvis is interconnected with the spine. So most will have something. Some of us have a little more. I, in particular, have a little bit of scoliosis. look away from your knees gently let the head roll to the right knees to the left if you happen to be on the other side just look away from the knees and coming up opposite side Drop the knees to the other side and just let time work in your favor here. So this whole opening through the left hip and hip flexor just happens with time. Get an experience in the body. So trying not to process this through your mind and emotions, but rather keep it as a pure experience in the body, feeling the body, honoring the body as well. 
and look over away from your knees to to my left in my case If you need to hold anything anywhere longer, just do it. You don't have to keep up with me. This is all about feeling your own body and getting a, an experience in the body. Here we are going to glide the legs out, extend them and glide the knees towards the right but, buttocks and extend opposite side with the knees dropping extend change knees dropping now you can extend the right arm up and again feel that subtle extension Let's change, extend, glide over to the other side. And you can change the hands. And again, let everything drop. Don't resist with your muscles or tissues or fascia. Get a good contact with the floor and surrender into the floor, melt into the floor. Let's bring the left knee in. You can bend the right leg and just open the knee out and bring it in. It can be in more of a circular fashion or, or just in any fluid way. Just move and feel the structures in the pelvis, piriformis, uh, muscles, tissues. Opposite side. Knee in, knee out. And I've been loving this one. Bring the right ankle over the left knee and just drop the knee down and um, the foot is flat the right foot is flat on the ground right arm can reach up now you're going to really feel the IT bend Gently pressing the knee away from you. If there is room for that, don't push and force anything. This is almost like a little bit of a more of an advanced somatic uh, pose it would be. A lot of them are very, very, very gentle and soft because we want to sink into the body. Uh, but because this class was a little springy, I feel we can 
indulge in this one too. It's, it has its intensity, this one. I look like I just, you know, fell on the floor, but uh, the particularities of the pose really, if you perform it in tune with your body, listening to your body and just gently moving into the areas of uh, that are stiff, you're going to feel it. I like when I stretch to, f the, I'm looking for a feeling of needed. So I want when I stretch, no pain. I don't, I'm not looking for pain, resistance, tension. Um, I'm, I'm looking for, oh, that feels like I really need it. So even though this is very deep, it feels needed in my body. So I want you to look for that feeling. We're unwinding all the twists, the twisted areas in the body. And a lot of it is really locked in the pelvis and in the spine. So even when we work with shoulders and ankles and knees and all of that, we always, to a large degree, want to address the pelvis and the spine. All right, to come out of this, take your time. You can bring your hand down slowly get back up and release if you want to you can shake the right leg opposite side so here you're going to bring do exactly the same thing left ankle over the right knee and you are going to drop it to your right until your foot is flat on the ground that left knee gently pressing away from you nothing too intense um, just a small movement here will go really deep into the um, IT band With all these somatic classes, I feel that we're going to create more space internally to hold this high frequency energy is coming towards the earth and also with that cosmic gateway that is the Neptune Jup Jupiter conjunction in Pisces, that ecstatic bliss of a conjunction. We are going to create that internal space that can they can host and hold the energies it feels with the slowing down and with the breath and with the feeling the body it's almost like there is this spaciousness being created mm -hmm. 
so we can be conductors for higher energy. We can have the conductivity. Is it enough? What do you think? Now ask your body if it's enough and get a yes or a no or a expansion or contraction or a joyous feeling or a done feeling. So just ask your body, is this enough? And if it's enough, gently bring yourself up or the legs up, the knees up. You can release and even shake a little. And here we're going to extend the legs and arms over the head. And we're going to bend the left knee and glide the, or glide the heel down. And we're going to bring the knee and the right hand towards each other, or towards the midline, mid separating center line and release and opposite side. Now, when you do that, as you release, I want you to stretch and move into this move opposite side. A little bit like a combination of a bug and a mammal, <laughs> maybe even reptilian, but combine a few moves you've seen in nature where there is movement. Circular movement, harmonious movement, whatever you want to call it, but just explore the body and feel the body. You can move the neck, the head. Make it your own, Harry. You can do elbow circling out, head moving. The knees can be out and in. There's no particular movement here other than you tuning in and tweaking it so that you can feel maybe something will unlock, release, let go. Maybe your breath will unlock. Breathe into all the spaces that we opened up. Great. And let's bring the hands behind the head and lower the lower back onto or bring the lower back onto the floor um, with the pelvic tilt. And Bring your shoulders up and arch and pelvic tilt. Feel the scooping up, energy lifting, Mula Bandha. You feel the core, beyond the core, the fascia, the Mula Bandha and arch. Lower down, drop the shoulders down, expand the rib cage. As you arch here, you can press your elbows down. And again, really feel everything lifting here. And arch. One more. And arch. And let's hug the knees into the chest. 
rocking. And just create a mode of being at peace with your body, just good with it. Surrender peace. Accepting. And by accepting, I really mean a deeper level of accepting, okay, so maybe there is pain somewhere, or some imbalance or disbalance or injury. And instead of constantly willing it to heal, and not that we want, but surrender and acceptance, just being good with it at this moment in particular, just for this moment, be overwhelmed with the perfection of the moment and everything within this moment, exactly how it is. As if a wave of deeper realization of epiphany is washing over you. Of a genius way of realizing and looking at reality in existence. Creating space for miracles, for healing, for expansion, for beauty in essence. And then everything becomes easy within you, in the body, in the soma. And that spills over to the emotions, the mind. And you can lay down in Shavasana. And stay here as a particle in the consciousness in the ocean of consciousness. And remember to flow with love, strength and ease. Namaste.
Thank you. 